Hello, my name is Steven Koufidakis, and I'm an edge specialist with the Global Solution Architects at Equinix. For this functional learning video, I'll be going over how to integrate SmartKey with Google Cloud External Key Manager. With Google EKM, SmartKey can act as the external key manager to secure your data on the Google Cloud platform with services such as BigQuery, Compute Engine, Cloud SQL, and GKE. I'm now logged into SmartKey. This account is located in the Americas region. From here, I'll go through the process of creating a group. Think of the group as a container in which anything that I'm going to be creating that pertains to EKM will reside within this group. Uh, we can name the group anything we like. Once we're done naming the group, we can just click Save. And now we've got a new group that we'll use for the EKM integration. Next step here is to create the app. This is the way SmartKey and Google EKM will authenticate to the SmartKey service. So I'm going to use a Google service account. This Google service account will be an email address for the service account that I've already pre-created in my Google project. So I've copied the email of the service account here. And this will be used to authenticate with the Google Cloud service. Next step is to define the access justifications. Once I unselect accept all, you can see the various permissions, you know, that would pertain to here, to this to the service account. But for the sake of this video, I'll go ahead and select accept all. And we can see it's in the correct group. And I'll just go ahead and click save. Uh, so now I've created my app. This will be the app that SmartKey authenticates with the Google Cloud service. We'll go back into the group that we created originally. And the last step is to create the actual security object. In this case, it's going to be an AES key, which is 256 bit. This key is going to be stored solely in SmartKey, my SmartKey service. And I can generate this key right from the SmartKey portal and then define the attributes for the key itself, in which this is going to be an AES with key size of 256 bits. And then lastly, I want to set the appropriate permissions for the key itself. I can always add additional permissions, remove permissions from here. Uh, once satisfied, just click the Generate button. And just like that, we have our 256-bit AES key. I just copied the URI of the key. This will be how this will allow the EKM service once we've configured it to make contact with the key itself from the key ring. Jumping over to my Google Cloud project, I'm going into the security services under cryptographic keys. And this is where I'll begin the process of creating the key ring. I have a few key rings here, but I need to create a new key ring. And here I can name the key ring anything I'd like, um, anything that would pertain to the, to the to my account. And then once I'm done naming the key ring, I'm going to select the region in which I want this key ring to, to support. All of my resources hypothetically are in US East 1. And we can just click Create, and this will create the new key ring in which the keys that I've created for smart key, I'll be able to configure. So this create key section here is I'm actually going to tell my key ring that this key resides in an external key manager. And this is where I need the URI of the key itself within my smart key account. I can easily copy and paste that URI. No change is necessary here. This will tie right back to the key itself. I'll also need to give the key a unique name. This name can be anything we like here. It can also match the name that I've given it in SmartKey, which I'll do here as well. But this is not absolutely necessary. And I'll click Create. Just like that, I've created integration with 
Cloud AKM. This key resides in Smart Key, as you can see. And I can actually go into the activity logs and refresh, and I can see that the integration was successful. Go back into the group level. Check my app itself and the activity logs generated. And we can see that the activity logs are populating as well as expected. If you're looking for the detailed steps, uh, how to set up the integration with Google Cloud EKM, simply go to docs.equinix.com, click on the smart key tile, and then browse to our knowledge base under this smart key section and scroll to the bottom and look for the article that's titled Using Smart Key with Google Cloud EKM. From here, you'll be able to get detailed instructions on everything that is needed to set up the integration with EKM and Smart Key, such as prerequisites such as setting up the service account within your Google Cloud project. This concludes the functional learning video for setting up integration with Google Cloud EKM and our smart key product. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you.